podcasting platform podcasting platform all of you are definitely i can bet you on this all of you will be using one or the other podcasting platforms humor humor is a powerful catalyst for virality when it have a humor people will laugh people will connect then it will go viral whatever you do in the digital space that will leave a footprint what you are doing what you are watching everything will be tracked hello everyone welcome to the session on cyber security for fifth semester bca today in this session we are going to discuss about unit 3 that is social media overview and security myself indu j faculty of computer science department vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore what exactly the social media or social networking so that we have to have a introduction on the social networking introduction to the social networking all of you know most of them you are engaged yourself in the social networking i need not to give any definition for the social networking that much the social networking is very popular nowadays at least majorly in the youth like you peoples right so formal definition what we can give for the social network let's see social networks are the digital platform that facilitate the creation sharing and the exchange of information you can create the information you can share the information and you can exchange the ideas with each other ideas and connections among the individuals and the group this can be done with whom this can be done with a single individual or you can do it with the group of people as uh, you have a best example your whatsapp you can connect to the single person or you can make a group of your whole class and you can communicate you can share the uh, things whatever is conveyed in the classroom or the question paper you can share like that you can communicate through the particular platform that is called as social networking what do you mean by socialing socializing social life is to have a communication between one and another is to share the ideas between one another or the group of people sharing their ideas group of people sharing their emotion thoughts everything is a social life that the same thing that what we are doing on the cyber space using the internet that is called as social networking on the cyber space or digital social networking we can say they have become an integral part of modern society which is a integral part of modern society social networking is a integral part of modern society nowadays if the person is not having friends outside physically but definitely will be having the friends on the digital platforms isn't it so that's why it is an integral part we say that it is an integral parts of modern society revolutionizing the way people communicate interact and forms the relation between each other this is a introduction for social networking and why social networking is so widely used so use of social networking why we are using the social networking digital communities it will create using the social networking we can create the digital communities communities means what uh, out of interested people only will uh, having some group if you are interested in movies only those people will create one uh, community and they discuss only about that platform movies if you are interested in traveling many traveling blogs are community blogs are there where they are going how they are going which way you supposed to take which is a best way to reach there and best month to go there everything will be discussed there that is called as community they are creating the digital community to share the ideas then user profile you can create your profile user who is using that particular network can create his own profile by providing what all the information he want to share with the others it's only about the individual what all information that particular individual wants to share that can be put at as a profile 
the friendship and connection he can build the uh, friendship he can build the connection to share uh, his feelings his emotion or anything like that he can create the friendship and connections the content sharing whichever the content they feel likes to share they feel like it is a good it should be shareable by someone it should be listened by everyone like that content has to be shared real time communication real time communication we can do real time communication using the social networking just by instant messaging or video calling like that okay then privacy setting you can set your uh, privacy like which all the things you want to share in public and which all the things you want to share in private like for only for the friends all for the publics or you want to keep it for yourself like that you'll be having different privacy settings then group and communities you can create your own group or you can join to the community or the group that is already created which is of your own interest and then news feeds and timelines nowadays all the news in an instant in a real time news as something has happening at somewhere at the north that can be uh, shared immediately as soon as it happens it will be shared to all over the globe like this news feeds and the timelines on the real time basis we can share the news business and brand pages even many companies or many brands are using the social networking to improve their business and to advertise their brands like that these are all the uses of social networking and last a uh, very important uh, goal or use is that global reach you are not reaching only to the particular group of people in your location you are reaching to across the globe all the people who are who are interested in that particular community group or particular individual can watch you can see you can follow you like that you have a global reach that is a main advantage or main use what we have in the social networking next we'll move on and the type of social networking how many types of social networking we have we have different types of social networking let's see social networking sites as we have a facebook tweet insta other social networking sites using that social networking site is one of the type micro blogging platform so small small content has to be put it in your blog that is called as micro blogging um, platforms uh, for example twitter like small contents one or two sentences will be posted that is a micro blogging content and media sharing network you can not only share the text you can also share the multimedia media can be shared across photos everything can be shared so that is a media sharing uh, networks then video sharing platforms we can share the videos as well like uh, youtube um, then uh, twitter whatsapp you can share the videos whatever you want. these are the video sharing platform not only the images we can also share the videos and blogging platform here we have discussed about the micro blogging means content will be delivered in the small sentences this is a in the larger uh, thing like the larger content will be delivered in the blogging platform so what all the different uh, blogging platforms is this word press then bloggers and tumblr these are the different and uh, well used blogging platforms and discussions forums you can discuss whatever the queries you have you cannot discuss with your family members or the, uh, your close friends you don't want to reveal your identity when you are discussing some problem so at that time you can use this discussion forums like uh, rabbit and uh, quora digest there are different types of question you can come across with they can discuss they don't reveal the person identity just they give the answer for the particular question what they are asking so that is a discussion forums and then bookmarking sites some of the bookmarking sites are print sets and the pockets these are some of the bookmarking sets you just you can keep it marked whenever you want you can access the data and the professional networks to improve your professional uh, career you can use a linkedin network you can create your resume you can post your resume so other uh, companies who are searching for particular uh, uh, criteria they can opt you they can call for the interview like many things can happens on the linkedin you if you want to search for your guide 
our mentor you can search in the linkedin okay these are different types of social networking we have social media we have apart from that we have dating apps as an one of the platform to communicate or to to build the connection dating apps and review and rating sites the review and ratings is most of the e-commerce sites will use is to review or rate their product right so that is sharing the experiences about the products services restaurants and many more things you can review and rate those particular sites podcasting platform podcasting platform all of you are definitely i can bet you on this all of you will be using one or the other podcasting platforms streaming something particular is called podcasting so example is spotify apple podcast and then the google podcast then live streaming platforms you can stream yourself live when you when you go to insta live or twitter live though that is youtube live these are all the live streaming platforms that is provided in the social media location based social networks this is an example for location based social network that is a four square and then the next door who is the next door for example where is where is my train is a one more app where we are uh, we are sharing the location like uh, live locations like that niche and specialized networks niche and for particular thing we are we can create the specialized network for example good reads to read the books good reads is you can find all types of the books there for the books uh, uh, enthusiastic and satwa for the athletics satwa for uh, satwa is one of the application that gives all the information for the athletics and then the uh, deviant art for artist you can fetch all the information for artist who has done uh, what kind of arts and how to do everything that will come across the devans art these are all some of the types of social media social media monitoring we have discussed what all the social media how many types of social medias are there why we have to monitor the such social medias so here is the reason why we have to monitor often referred as a social media media listening or the social media tracking monitoring is also called as listening or tracking listening means what exactly going on on that particular social media or, or you can track who is doing what that is called as tracking is the practice of systematically observing tracking and analyzing a social media platform to gain insights into the public sentiment conversation trends and then the mentions related to the specific topics which is your interest on that you can monitor you can track what all going inside what all the conversation is happening and what all there the mentions are there and then the brands products and then the keywords using these all things we can monitor the social media the key components of social media monitoring are data collection why we have to monitor we need to collect the data if you want to have a information about watch a smart watch right so you need to collect all the data which is there for smart watch and upon that what all improvements you can do what are the advantage that watch has what is the disadvantage it has you can analyze and you can improve that okay that's what is uh, data collection is used for and keyword tracking users can set a specific keyword hashtag or a uh, paras to track so you need not to search each and everything every data on the network according to the keyword whichever you want i want watch i can search for watch i want smart watch i can search for smart watch like that keyword searching and the sentiment analysis post is positive or the negative it depends on the sentiment analysis we have to analyze the data what is there on the network depending on that we can do the sentiment analysis okay whether uh, that the brand is having positive review and negative review or one particular person is giving negative reviews for all the brands or the, all the products like that we can analyze the sentiment of the individual then competitor analysis 
just exactly what I saw, uh, told. Take the advantage, disadvantage, compare the price, what all the extra features we can give in the particular price, everything. So you can analyze your competitors. Who are your, your competitor for that particular brand? What he is giving in the what cost and what you can give at that particular cost? That all will be analyzed competitor analysis trend and topic analysis you can analyze what all the trends is going on nowadays what are the topic that is most discussed on the social networking that all we can do and the influencer identification you can identify particular influencer who is influencing to set of people or the group of people by his uh, contents so you can do that also then audience insights how many audiences have been uh, seen that particular content that has been posted by, you, posted by you? If you are an influencer, the number of audiences is very important for you, right? Similarly, you can go with the uh, audience insights. More audiences, you'll be having more uh, popularity like that. Apart next, what we are discussing is benefits. Benefits of social media monitoring. What all the benefits we get when we monitor the social media? One is reputation management. This basically deals most of the time related to the individual reputation or to the company reputation. We can check what is the company reputation among the society, right? What people are saying about your brand. That is a reputation management. Customer insights, how many customers are seeing or buying or viewing that particular product that is customer intake. Take, Talking about their needs, preferences and the pain points. What is good in that? What is bad in that? What can be improved? That is talking about goods, preferences and then the pain of particular brand. And competitive intelligency means you can intelligently provide the competition to your other competitor brands. Then crisis management. You can manage your crisis once you are keep on monitoring your social media. Identify the potential issues early. You can uh, identify the potential issues or the disadvantage at the earliest. Hence, you can manage yourself or the company or organization can manage itself. Issues earlier and then take the appropriate action to mitigate the damage. To take the appropriate action to overcome from that particular damage. Prior only, after crisis arriving, not before crisis arriving, you should be ready with your plan. What can we do and what the organization can do? That is called as crisis management. That content strategy, tailoring your content and marketing strategy for particular people, particular group of the people, your marketing strategy will be different and another group of people, your marketing strategy will be different. For example, if I want to sell this pen, the approach towards the student or to sell this pen is different. The approach towards the faculty to sell this pen is different. That is called as marketing strategy. Where to put what you should be knowing. That is the content strategy. How to create the content for marketing like that. Then engagement and then the customer services. Always you should provide the services by monitoring the social media and you should keep the customer engaged. You should make the customer to come into your site again and again. Then market research. You can research the market. What is the need in the market? Okay, what the exactly the customer is expecting from you. That all can be done when we monitor the social media. That is marketing research, gathering the data about the market trends and the customer behavior for information, discussion and making. So these are all the benefits what we had. Now different tools of social media monitor. Now we'll discuss the social media monitoring tools. So what are the different tools we have to monitor the social media? There are numerous of social media monitoring tools available both for free as well as for the paid tools also they are available that helps individual or organization to track analyze the social media activity. Why we are using this tool? We are using this tool to track and analyze the social media activity what is going on on the social media. Some popular tools include Hoot suit hood suit uh, sprout social brand watch mention google alerts and the social media mention these are some of the popular tools that has been used to monitor the social media 
Next topic what we have is hashtag. All of you are aware of hashtags, right? What is hashtag? The hashtag is a metadata tag. Metadata means a small content tag. A, a tag, it may be one word or 10 letters word or something like that. One word or two words. Metadata tag used on the social media platform to categorize the content and make it discoverable by the broader audience. Why we have to do hashtag? Because it should be make it discoverable, easy to search. Hashtag like uh, if you search for the has particular hashtag, you can easily go into that hashtag. That is, make it easy to discoverable for the broader audiences. The key aspects of the hashtag includes what are the key app aspects in the hashtag is categorization. How do we categorize the hashtag for which content which has hashtag has to be given that is make it easy searchable since we are categorizing it is easily searchable then discoverability easier to explore the topics follow the trends and engage with the like-minded users then trending topics you can make the hashtag out of trending topic what is going on nowadays our current movement that a hashtag can be done most popular and the widely used hashtag at the given time at the time what is going on recently so that can be the uh, trending hashtag for you engagement hashtag can be used to provide the engagement hashtag can increase the visibility and search of your post with the hashtag if you post any content that makes the user or the another users or the audiences to have an eye on that so that is engagement how many people see your post that is called as engagement then apart from that we can go for branding using a hashtag smartwatch using hashtag which smartwatch you use uh, fireboat boat like that you can give the branding also. Companies and the individuals often create the custom and branded hashtag depending on their customers. Community building using the hashtags can help to build and connect the communities around the shared interest. Okay, if you want to search something, if you are very interested in art, hashtag art. If you give art that you can check the communities or the group which is there in the particular hashtag then cross platform use it can be used in the cross platform for example while hashtag originated in the twitter initially they used uh, twitter has been used this hashtag and that will nowadays it will be used in all the platform that can be used in insta that can be used in facebook everywhere they are using the hashtag that's why it is called as cross platform can be used with the any platforms then hashtag etiquity etiquity means you should be mindful when you are putting the hashtag for the content which should be appropriate tag that has to be put the content unrelated non-related hashtag cannot be put so that is not the etiquity be mindful of the context and appropriateness of the hashtags you use so what all this hashtag have become a powerful tool for organizing discovering and engaging with the content in the social media this is all about hashtag then what we have is viral content what is content going viral in the spam of seconds or spam of minutes that is called as viral that viral means reaching many people at short duration of the time the content reaching many people is the short duration of the time is called as viral content let's see viral contents refers to the online material that spread rapidly and widely rapidly and widely across the internet often reaching the massive audiences within the short period reaching large number of the audience with small time that is called as viral content here are the characteristics and the factors associated with the viral content what all the characteristic of the content to get viral so share ability first and foremost thing it should be shareable then only your content will go viral it resonate with the shareability it resonate with a broad audiences and the people feel compiled to share it with their social network the content should be how the content should be like they should feel it should be shareable shareable to the different peoples or shareable to the different communities so that is called as 
shareability that emotion and engagement the content should have some emotion such that it can engage the audiences the viral content often evokes a strong emotion in the viewers such as laughter awake and inspiration shocks like that your content will having all this emotion then then the citation will be more for your content then surprise and novelty you should give some novelty and surprise element should be there when when you are creating some content uh, in the intention it should go viral then the surprise element and novelty element should be there novelty and then the uh, element of the surprise can make the content go viral then simplicity you should not in the sense of making it uh, more uh, surprising or uh, more content you should not make you should not put more data in that it should be kept very simple understandable by each and every one like that you should maintain the simplicity viral content is usually easy to understand and simple to engage with okay we can relate we have to put uh, the content such that most of the people can relate not to the higher level not to the lower level all the people can relate such simplicity we have to put the content reliability content that is related to the broad audiences tends to go viral we can relate the content should relate to the people then it can go viral it should have a humor content should have a humor humor is a powerful catalyst for virality when it have a humor people will laugh people will connect then it will go viral then visual appeal it should have a visual appeal so visual content such as images videos is more likely to go viral instead of reading most of the people will give a importance or preference to listen or to see and the videos will be there the content will go much viral seed audiences viral content often starts with the small seed of audiences small group of audiences from small group of audiences that will be seeded to the different groups or different individual that is called as seeding the audience next what we have is social media marketing now so far we have discussed about social media monitoring and uh, hashtags viral content now we are moving on to the social media marketing how we can market on the social media social media marketing is a digital marketing strategy that involves using the social media platforms to promote the products services brands and or the contents for the particular targeted audience here are the key aspects of the social media marketing one is platform selection which content has to be put on which platform which uh, product has to be marketed on which platform that is called as platform selection and content creation once you selected that particular platform where i should put my product for that particular product description you should create one content content in the small 2 3 lines content you should create in the 2 3 line contents all the information of the product to, should be put in then content creation and content sharing once content is created that content has to be shared to the different audiences for different group of people that is content sharing audience engagement once you have sharing the contents you should keep your audience who may be the customer for you is you keep them engaged how you keep them engaged by posting um, recent updates by posting videos on that particular product by uh, posting the views and reviews of that particular product keep engaging the audience and social advertising you should advertise on the social platforms like uh, whenever you are playing game whenever you are um, you are listening to the spotify that is a podcast spotify the advertisement will come right so so that is advertising of particular brand or particular thing what they are wanted to market it so in the social media marketing uh influencer makes an a very important role influencer marketing uh some youtube influencers are there insta influencers are there uh, they have number of followers more number of followers 
if they promote the brand or promote the product that will be also considered as an influencer marketing and this brand will give a pay some amount for that influencer also then uh, analytics and insights marketers use the data measures reach engagement conversation rates and other key merits to analyze what is going on on the market then conversation goals Social media marketing often includes the clear conversation goals such as driving website traffic, generating the leads, increasing the sales and uh, engaging the signups. They create one particular website. In that website, nowadays no need to wait for a human intervention. Everything is on artificial intelligence. See, chatbots are there. Whenever you put the message, this product I want, what is the detail of this product, chatbot, chatbot will replay you regarding the product details everything that is conversation goal keep on communicating with the customers on the networking site so th that increases the signups so it asks you to sign up if you want to get the detail of all the detail of the product you need to sign up so that will sign up and you keep on scrolling if you keep on checking on the products you feel likes to purchase it so that is one of the marketing strategy then branding and the storytelling social media allows the business to establish their brand identity they are creating one story for it's just like an advertisement what you see in the tv so they create one story the main hero of the story is what that particular product depending on the branding and the product you are you are telling the story around that particular product that is uh, the one of the strategy in the social media marketing then social media privacy what is social media privacy it refers to the protection of the personal information and the control over of one's data when using the social media platform privacy means protecting our personal information when we are using the social media platforms the key aspects of the social media privacy is privacy setting. First and foremost things, all the social media platforms provide you on a privacy setting. There you can select which of your information should be kept it for yourself, kept it for private and which information should be kept it for public. So that is a privacy settings. User to control who can see the post profile information and who can contact them so that is a privacy setting and the second point is the data collection social media platform collects and stores the user data including the post likes comments and many more for example in a facebook something you have shared one year back that will be stored data will be stored and after one year for this particular date you have shared this your memory like that it will give you no know? so, so that is called as data collection social media platform what it does it will store and collect all your posts all your comments like it will be kept with themselves so in the social media privacy next what we have is third party application we are using different applications there also they should provide the privacy when users sign in or connect their social media accounts the third party apps or websites they may in advertisingly grant the access they should not grant the access inappropriately for example if you are searching anything any new website or new content one particular website will be there they it asks for the sign in and in that particular sign in it will ask for sign in account in your google account with your facebook account like that so inappropriately we should not give any sign in then location data user can usually disable the location service in the app setting to have the privacy where exactly the individual is where exactly the person is i don't want to sh share that particular information so you can disable the location sharing then data sharing social media companies may share user data with the advertisers and the other third party they not keep it for the private they uh, they share the data whichever we have um, enrolled into the particular platform those platform fellow that third party fellow will share the data to the companies companies database database of that particular platform will be shared by different but there are some rules to share the data simply they cannot share so but they are sharing it data sharing so this is a aspects of data 
privacy and then in platform messaging it provides in platform messaging also these messages are often subjected to monitoring and data collection by the platform itself they send some survey uh, messages like uh, you should go with the survey of this to continue as a login like that so in platform messaging phishing and scamming already we have discussed what is phishing and what is uh, scamming in the unit 2 so phishing and scamming users should be uh, curate about the phishing attempts and then the scams on the social media very conscious you should be when you are uh, clicking on any links or when you are having uh, accepting the friend request or something building a connection with random individual you should be very conscious when you are doing such things then impersonate next point is what is impersonate impersonate user should be aware that the others may create the fake profile with their personal data that is called as impersonate that is a threat what we have in the social media then password security you should secure your password any platform user id and password will be secure with the more strong unique and then the um, enabling the two factor authenticity by enabling these things you should give a very secured password uh, authenticity and then data deletion user have to have the rights to request the deletion of their data from the social media platform if you are using the uh, facebook one account one account has been closed you are creating one more account you can ask this facebook fellow that is a platform fellow to delete all the content which is there in your previous account if you don't want to maintain any account in the social from media platform that can be uh, you can send the request to, to uh, delete all the content all the all the uh, sharing uh, images whatever the data you have on that particular platform you can delete that particular platform by thus you can achieving what privacy you can achieving privacy next what we have is challenges what all the challenges when we are dealing with the social media privacy concern obviously all our private data will be given to the platform cyber bullying according to that using many platforms targeting to the particular individual or targeting to the particular audiences they can uh, go for cyber bullying and then uh, misinformations and fake news we we assume that as audiences we assume we don't uh, go into the deep whether the information or the news is true or false just we say we assume that all the information that is on their social media is true so that is misinformation and the fake news are more in the social media addiction and overuse what all you are doing addiction and overuse you are addicted to the social media you are overusing that social media for each and everything you are using the social media that is addiction in social media and um, online harassment and trolling for many celebrities i don't know about uh, uh, the common people but whenever it comes to celebrities many people will follow the celebrities so thus they have a trolling uh, if they some if they do some any deeds for that the good trolls will be there bad trolls will be there like that they'll keep on posting the troll and some harassment harsh words will be used on the social network and uh, eroding the privacy boundary we are eroding we are erupting the privacy boundary these are some of the challenges what we have in the social media opportunities what we have in the social media is networking and professional growth hence we are communicating with the different group of people we can improve our network and we can have a professional growth according to our needs and then information sharing sharing information is a share instantly whatever it may be it may be the good it may be bad it, it may be the news or it may be the personal information that can be shared instantly information sharing community building you can build your own community of particular interest particular peoples will uh, form a community where you can discuss on the particular thing so marketing and promotion many fact many uh, companies or the organization use this social networking for their marketing and promoting their products then advertising and social changes activism next what we have is activism and social changes we can create the social 
change like for example save river is one of the major uh, uh, thing that happened on the social media right so we can go with the social change save river save tree and activism that is called as activism actively participating in such concern is called as um, activism and social change and global connection you can have a much more opportunity to connect globally not only with the few people so you can connect globally okay so these are all some of the opportunities we have on the social media what are the pitfalls we have in the social media reputation damage you can damage the individual or the organization reputation this mostly happens with the celebrities or the organization for the individual common people it will happen but in a smaller scale it will happen you can damage the reputation of person time wasting overuse addiction will cause you the time wasting then comparison and insecurity when we are comparing when we are seeing others post how they are doing it uh, so beautiful it is why i cannot do like that the comparison will come and uh, that comparison leads to the demotivations and that will leads to the insecurity within yourself then digital footprints whatever you do in the digital space that will leave a footprint what you are doing what you are watching everything will be tracked that is called as digital footprint and emotional uh, well being so as uh, we are uh, comparing we are seeing others so it will affect on our emotions also how good they are uh, leading their life why can't i lead uh, my life like this comparison will come and it will uh, fall into the emotional well being also next what we have is um, here security issues related to the social media so what all the security issues that comes into the picture when we are dealing with the social networking or the social media here are some of the key security issues account hacking first and foremost thing and the simplest security issue is what we have having is account hacking your account can be hacked by some hackers and using your account they can do some illegal activities that is called as account hacking and phishing and scam once they have hacked the account using your account they can uh, do scam uh, they can uh, do phishing also then malware distribution as it is connected to the many peoples it distribute the malware very randomly and very rapidly and then identity theft identity theft we have already discussed using some personal personal details of some other person used by some other person some ex person will be using some wise personal detail the identity yield will be stealed by that particular person then data privacy concern whenever we are sharing the personal data into the social network social platforms then the privacy concerns will be definitely there the cyber bullying and harassment as we are connected to the many peoples we cannot categorize who is good people and who is bad people that they, they can target you they can harass you by they can bull you by using the harsh words or by tracking you like that so that is cyber bullying and the harassment and the click have click bits click bits means uh, they are allowing you to click whatever the links they send the some random links comes to your whatsapp or comes to uh, you as a message you simply without uh, thinking anything you click on that that is called as click bits and scams enforcing forcing the user to click on the fraud offers that is called as click bit and then apart from that what we have is issues related to social media uh, inappropriate content and the cyber crime inappropriate content the, in that particular platform that content does not fit that is a inappropriate content for that particular platform still they are posting it that is a one of our security issues and location and privacy issues then password and authenticity risk uh, they can hack the passwords easily in the media and uh, misinformation and disinformation they can spread the misinformation and the wrong information about the organization or the individual social engineering cyber criminals uh, may manipulate the user through the social engineering techniques such as a uh, pretexting or baiting simply randomly they can target any person and they can make use of them their data or they can make use of the information from them to harm someone else that is called a social engineering attacks that what we have discussed in the module 2 okay these are all some of the 
threats what we have in the social media then flagging and reporting of the inappropriate content when we see any inappropriate content in that particular platform we can flag that and say that is an inappropriate content that content should not be there in that particular platform how we can do that so flagging of inappropriate content what is flagging is a common practice of many online platform including social media to notify the administrators or the moderators about the content that violates the community guidelines whatever the guidelines is there for that particular community apart from that anything will be posted that can you can flag that and instruct the administrator that it is a inappropriate content that has been uh, displayed on the platform and the reporting inappropriate content to help and maintain the safe and respectful digital environment why we have to report to maintain the safe and uh, respectful digital environment we should have to report or flag the inappropriate content process of flagging how we can flag this so identify the inappropriate content first first what uh, step we have to identify which is inappropriate content then review the platform guidelines check with the guidelines security guidelines privacy guideline of that particular platform whether that uh, that content is allowed according to the guidelines or not then flag or report option there is one flag like this one flag option will be there you can use that flag option to report this is an inappropriate content select the reason of flagging once you flag you should tell why it is inappropriate content that is a reason of flagging provide the additional information if necessary why it is and who posted provide the additional information if it is necessary if not flagging and the flagging reason is enough submit the flag or report the flag then click on that particular reason and post it check for updates whether your administrator or mentor has seen that particular flag or not to uh, ensure that you should keep uh, updating you should keep checking that particular flag incidents then law regulation regarding posting of inappropriate content if you post inappropriate content you should fall some other laws under which you should not post what all those laws here are some of the common legal consideration and laws related to the posting inappropriate content one is defamation defamation means what uh, changing the content is called defamation as we are they are posting the inappropriate content that will fall under the defamation law posting the false statements that harms the reputation of the individual or the entity can lead to the defamation claim you can put the claim or you can sue them on under the defamation law and then then the harassment and the cyber bullying harassment and then the cyber bullying laws may apply on online behavior that constitute the repeated malicious and threatening content contents so uh, contents means uh, someone is uh, continuously using some harsh word uh, harm words Uh, and uh, threatening messages that will all comes under the harassment and cyber bullying law you can uh, you can file the case against the particular individual under this particular law apart from that hate speeching hate speeching is one of the law that is included in the uh, rules and regulation of inappropriate content hate speech law uh, very widely used but in many countries certain forms of hate speech are prohibited you should not use abusing words that is called as hate speech so that is uh, prohibited in certain um, countries child exploitation posting a inappropriate content involving the minors such as child pornography or exploiting the images of minors that should not be happen that already we have discussed about the child exploitation and what all the laws we have to protect the child so these are all the different types of laws we have and copyright infringement means you should not use some others copyrighted content as your own that falls under copyright infringement law by using someone else work as your own so these are all the laws we have in when we are dealing with the social networking 
and when we are uh, having the inappropriate content we can use this laws so uh, next law what we have is revenge prone many uh, ju jurisdiction have the law against the revenge prone which involves the non consensual sharing of intimate images without the concern of the particular individual you should not share the images to others that is called as revenge prone the criminal content posting the content related to the illegal activities such as drug trafficking terrorism or violences can lead to the criminal charges you should not post any such content on the social media drug trafficking content should not be there terrorism communication between the terrorism like that you should not be there and then uh, violence will be not there in violence should not be there in your contents this all will be lead to the criminal content under criminal law you will be punished online harassment and bullying the various jurisdiction have enacted laws addressing the online harassment and bullying which may result in legal consequences for the particular who uses that so best practice what we have uh, in the social media protect your privacy when you are uh, uh, putting anything on the social media you should uh, go with the privacy policies and you should protect your private data use a strong password it is difficult to uh, hack by the hacker use such passwords and uh, verify the information before connecting to the any person or the people verify their information and uh, respect others you should not bull others you should not use a harsh word or defamation to the others respect each and individuals and think before you post whatever you are posting read it twice thrice think before you post whether it creates a negative impact or what then engage thoughtfully you should keep uh, your uh, followers or your audiences engage thoughtfully not by any random thoughts it's a you should have a good thoughts to engage your audiences be mindful of your digital footprints whatever you are doing on the digital space or the digital uh, platform that will be recorded so you should be very mindful as your uh, digital footprint will be recorded report inappropriate content whenever you feel this is a inappropriate content that that does not fall under the guidelines of the platform then try to report the such type of content protect your computer and the mobile devices by having the antivirus and anti malware firewalls keep updating this and protect your devices it may be the computer or it may be the mobile for business what all we have is uh, the benefits of, over the business is define a clean strategy by studying the market they can define the clean strategy for that particular product and consistent branding they can go for consistent branding branding and advertising that particular brand then engaging with your audience always keep engaging the companies will keep engaging with their audiences to promote their product or for new offers whatever they are providing that will be distributed or that will be given to the customers using the social media platform monitor and measures they can monitor what all the product uh, is going good what all the measures we have to take to overcome from the drawbacks of that particular monitor and measure the content quality they can uh, improve their product quality they can improve their content quality for marketing and all and the compliance is with the regulation they have to follow some regulation when we are doing or following uh, using the social media platforms for the organizations so this for uh, benefits for the organization this is for the benefit for the individual what all the best practice we can have when individual can have when they are using the social media and what best practice organization can have when they are using the social media that's all for the unit 3 thank you